10 Temple of Hatshepsut Discoveries That Scared Egypt Archaeologists The Temple of Hatshepsut is one of Egypt's most famous historical sites, and it's home to many mysteries that confuse us about the history of this ancient civilization. Number 10. Initial Rediscovery Not a lot was known about Queen Hatshepsut, let alone the temple, prior to the rediscovery in the late 19th century. It was then rapidly uncovered from 1894 to 1986. With the discovery of the temple, we began to learn much more about this interesting female Egyptian pharaoh. She was only the second woman to ever become a pharaoh, and is sometimes considered the woman who became a king. She's often considered one of the most successful rulers in the history of Egypt, and the most successful ruler of the 18th dynasty. The Temple of Hatshepsut itself is a construction marvel of its own. It was built specifically to celebrate the ruler and all the prosperity she brought to the civilization as its divine ruler. Number 9. New Temple While the Temple of Hatshepsut was a monumental discovery on its own, it wasn't the only major project the queen had worked on. Throughout her rule in Egypt, which lasted from 1479 to 1458 BC, Egypt was quite a stable and peaceful land with very few external threats or conflicts. This peaceful era meant that Queen Hatshepsut was able to focus more on building grand monuments that would put all other civilizations in the world at the time to shame. One of these monuments, which was recently uncovered in 2015, was another temple that was discovered by a team of Polish archaeologists. As it turns out, the locals of the area had already known there was another temple nearby but their reports were never really taken seriously until this discovery was made. The new temple was cut in rock and it consisted of two rooms that were each dedicated to a god. Unfortunately, not much more could be confirmed, as the temple was in rough shape after being buried for thousands of years. Number 8. Hatshepsut as a Sphinx The Sphinx is a symbol of ancient Egypt. And despite being thousands of years old by the time Hatshepsut was even born, no one truly knows when the Great Sphinx at Giza was built. It proved to still be highly significant in Egyptian culture during her rule as one of the most incredible art pieces that were discovered at the temple, showing the queen portrayed as a sphinx. She is one of the many Egyptian rulers to be depicted as such, but archaeologists even today are always awestruck at the quality, detail, and preservation of this specific structure. It's currently placed at the Mets in New York City. Number 7. Astronomical Alignment The Temple of Hatshepsut has a unique feature that tells us even more about the ancient Egyptian belief in astronomy. The temple is apparently placed to view astronomical events that happen on the eastern horizon. This includes the sunrise, moonrise, the Orion constellation, and the Sirius star. There is an amazing phenomenon that happens during midwinter which is referred to as the light box phenomenon, where a direct ray of sunlight will pass through each and every room inside the temple until it hits the throne of Queen Hatshepsut. It's simply amazing that even in ancient times there was enough knowledge about the sun's alignment for something like this to be built. Number 6. Stone Chest in July of 2020, a mysterious stone chest was found close to the Temple of Hatshepsut by Egyptian archaeologists. There were several objects wrapped inside a cloth within the chest. The contents included the skeleton of a sacrificial goose, its egg as well as another egg that probably belonged to an ibis. There was also a name attached to the box which was of the pharaoh Thutmose II, the husband and half-brother of Hatshepsut. Archaeologists believe that this stone chest might just be the key to discovering a hidden royal tomb, and that royal tomb might contain even more details about Hatshepsut's rule over Egypt. Number 5. 30 Coffins The Temple of Hatshepsut and its surroundings are home to thousands of priceless artifacts, most of which might never be found or are damaged beyond repair but a careful examination of its surroundings always seemed to come up with some amazing discoveries. One of these discoveries might be the biggest in the 21st century. In 2019, Egyptian authorities were in the process of excavating sites near the famous Hatshepsut Temple in Luxor, when they came across a cache of at least 30 coffins and they actually opened them. This is the largest mass cache of coffins discovered in this area of Egypt in over 100 years 
and inside the coffins were mummified men, women, and children. Most of the people in these coffins actually weren't royalty, but rather middle class, which goes to show the respect even the common resident of the Egyptian civilization had during the rule of Hatshepsut. The fact that there were two child coffins found also made news, as child coffins and child mummies are extremely rare, especially when the child isn't even royalty. Number 4. 3,500-year-old sarcophagus opened In November of 2018, a team of French and Egyptian archaeologists discovered a lavishly decorated coffin that was sealed tight near the Temple of Hatshepsut. The coffin was believed to be 3,500 years old, and opening it would bring about a lot of bad luck. But the scientists took the risk and finally announced they were going to open the coffin later that month. This led to a lot of media attention behind the discovery, with thousands of people tuning in to see what could be in the coffin. The reveal at the end was a little disappointing, as it turned out to be a mummy of an insignificant woman which wasn't even of great quality. Number 3. Missing Puzzle Piece Ever since Napoleon's campaign in Egypt ushered in an era of Egyptomania in Europe, Many Europeans, whether state-sponsored or just private enthusiasts, made a journey to Egypt to discover, or loot, priceless ancient artifacts. Some of these artifacts were never again found, but in the 20th century there was a huge push in practically every country in Europe to find all the different artifacts scattered across Europe and try to learn something from them. One of these artifacts was donated to the University of Swansea, and it was a piece that made very little sense at first and puzzled the students at the university. However, the university's Egyptology lecturer, Dr. Ken Griffin, noticed it was a piece of artwork clearly taken off of a wall. Since he had visited Egypt so many times, he was even able to pinpoint where this piece was taken off of, and it was from the temple of Hatshepsut and putting this piece together with the remaining art revealed that it actually depicted the queen herself. Number 2. The Architecture The architecture of the Temple of Hatshepsut is something that is of great interest to historians. You might have noticed that this temple doesn't really resemble most of the other well-known Egyptian structures. In fact, it actually resembles some Greek architecture according to some people. The use of pillars and more subdued decorations had led some to dubbing it as one of Egypt's few examples of classic architecture, which isn't normally associated with Egypt at all. But another reason why it might be so different is that when it was being restored during the 20th century, the reconstruction wasn't exactly historically accurate. Most historians today agree that the Temple of Hatshepsut would have looked radically different from what it looks like today. But the basic structure itself is the same and it might even tell us more about the alleged Greek-Egyptian relations during the rule of Hatshepsut. Number 1. Queen Hatshepsut And the single greatest discovery of the Temple of Hatshepsut is undoubtedly Queen Hatshepsut herself. For thousands of years and even hundreds of years after the rediscovery of the temple, the actual body or mummy of Queen Hatshepsut was still missing. Archaeologists had worked for years and spent millions of dollars trying to solve the mystery of where exactly her body would be found. Finally, after countless years of searching, an extensive DNA testing program was launched to identify the body of the queen in 2009. As it turned out, one of the mummies found at least 100 years ago at the temple had a strange feature. It had its arm bent over its chest and the mummy belonged to a woman. This position of burial was exclusively reserved for royalty but since it was found without a tomb, laying on the floor, which wasn't uncommon for regular folk in Egypt at the time, many believed it to be the mummy of Hatshepsut's wet nurse. Along with that mummy, there was also a more recent discovery of Hatshepsut's belonging in the area, contained inside a box. One of the items in the box was none other than her own tooth. Using the tooth, scientists were able to match the DNA of the tooth to the body that had been almost forgotten for a hundred years confirming that it was, indeed, Queen Hatshepsut. That's a wrap for the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And we'll see you next time.